What's up guys? How you doing? John here from Titan and I want to talk to you today about vitamin D. Vitamin D is a very, very important part of our body as far as taking care of our system on the inside. So vitamin D isn't really a vitamin. Vitamin D is really a hormone and vitamin D is produced in the kidneys. And why is it produced in the kidneys? It's produced in the kidneys to control calcium concentration blood levels. And at that point, that directly impacts the immune system. So vitamin D is very, very important because if you don't have the right amount of vitamin D or your vitamin D deficient, there's a lot of negative things that can impact your health. Now, talk about osteoporosis, all right, like rickets and stuff like that, that's what kids were getting with, with deficient vitamin D levels. Uh, muscle soreness, hair loss, uh, cause kidney problems. There's a lot of issues that go along with vitamin D deficiency. And it's a big, big thing. And it's very easy to take care of. You can honestly just get a blood test, see if you're deficient, and if you are deficient, you can try an oral supplement. If that oral supplement doesn't work on the next blood test, there is an vitamin D injectable you can take once a week. We do offer it here at Titan, but I'm sure another general practitioner or something like that can help you as well. And this is very, very important because it's usually not tested for. So, next time you go to your doctor or you come to Titan, you can always ask for a vitamin D test. If you're feeling lethargic, this could be another side effect from vitamin D deficiency. So it's really, really something to look into. Now, how do you raise your vitamin D levels without taking an injection or an oral supplement? Well, they say that diet is one of the biggest things you can do. So, look into your diet, make sure you can change some things, you can research these things and what to eat, right? That's one thing. They say number two is from sunlight. Now, if you live in a sunlight state, like sunny Florida, that I live in, right? You would think that me going outside all the time or going to these events outside where I get plenty of sunlight, way more than 15 minutes, that my body would be able to convert it and I would be, you know, vitamin D, uh, you know, uh, not deficient, but I would absorb a lot more vitamin D. So at that point, what happens is, is our body doesn't convert it, so that's why it's important to test for it. At that point, when you have your vitamin D levels and they get to the right level or above and they aren't deficient, I promise you, you will be feeling better. Me, myself, we're, I am vitamin D deficient, so I have to take an injection. Sharice is vitamin D deficient, and a lot of our patients find out they are vitamin D deficient, no matter what state or how much sunlight they're getting. Now, their diets can be really, really good, but we've seen people be vitamin D deficient that are super, super strict on their diets as well. So it's just always something to look for that can benefit your health in a major, major way. Vitamin D can be toxic to your system. If you take too much vitamin D in, it can hurt you. So don't do that. Make sure you blood test and know where you're at. Vitamin B12 is water-based and it can excrete through your body, where vitamin D is a hormone and will not excrete out through your urine and through your body. So be sure you are safe in taking vitamin D. It's not something to take in an abundance, but something to make sure that you're in the right ranges for. So that's the spiel about vitamin D. I'm John from Titan. If you like these videos, please check out our YouTube. There's plenty of educational videos on there, instructional videos on how to do the injections, what we do at Titan, and more. Also, check out our social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat, guys. I'm John from Titan. Give us a call or text if you want more information. 727-389-3220. Check out TitanMedicalCenter.com. Hello guys, today I want to cover subcutaneous injections. Um, when you get your type medical therapies, some of the medication it says to inject subcutaneously. So you might not know what subcutaneous means or how to inject subcutaneously. So I thought I'd do this nice little example and go through it step by step with you guys so you fully understand how to do your subcutaneous injection. This could be for a number of different things, uh, medications from type medical center. So always follow the instructions. If you have questions about it beforehand or after watching the video, make sure you contact the office and talk to the medical staff at the number 727-389-3220. So let's get into a subcutaneous injection. All right, so subcutaneous injection, the first thing we're gonna get is we're going to get our needle 
and we're gonna get our alcohol pad here and we're gonna make sure the first thing we do before we do our subcutaneous injection is make sure the site is cleansed uh, and the bottle is cleansed. So we cleanse the bottle, we're gonna let that dry here for a second. And um, usually the most common place to do a subcutaneous injection like ACG or peptides and stuff like that is in the abdominal area. So we're gonna pick the abdominal area and it's either three inches from the navel to the left side or to the right side, depending on you know, what hand you are, if you're right-handed or left-handed and how you're gonna hold the needle. Well, I'm right-handed, so I know I'm gonna hold the needle with my right hand and I'm gonna pinch some skin on my left. So let me clean the area. I'm gonna go in and start in a little circle and work my way out, pushing the dirt away. Okay, have my shirt up. I'm not gonna to touch anything afterwards. Um, the next thing I'll do is, is, and you can do this beforehand too, is make sure you have your medication that's measured out completely of how much you're gonna inject. Okay. So we have this here. And we're ready to inject. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go three inches for the navel on my left side because I'm right-handed. And I'm gonna go in a 45 degree angle coming across my stomach with the needle. Okay, so I'm gonna pinch. And I'm gonna grab some subcutaneous fatty tissue. And I'm gonna go in a 45 degree angle. Not a 90 degree angle coming straight in, but a 45 degree angle going across, 45 degrees. So we're going a 45 degree angle, coming across, going right in, pulling right out. There shouldn't be any blood or anything. There is, you can wipe it off and not have a problem. If you go straight in, you might feel a little bit of pain. Don't worry, you probably went into a muscle. Um, it might feel a little uncomfortable like that. If after your injection, you get any sort of uh, irritation or rash, um, it might get a little itchy in the area, but if you get any of these negative side effects, please call into the office, 727-389-3220. Some people, when they're doing the injection long, can get bruising or other different symptoms or issues that may arise. Don't worry, we got your back. All you have to do is contact us. We're gonna walk you through the steps again. Make sure you got everything correct, the medication's working properly, and that you're all set. So that was a little demonstration of how to do a subcutaneous injection in the abdominal area at a 45 degree angle. I went through step by step with you guys. If you have any further questions or concerns, please reach out to us, 727-389-3220. And please check out the website, www.titanmedicalcenter.com. I appreciate it guys, and stay tuned for more of these great educational videos. Hello folks, Cass with Titan Medical Center, one of the nurse practitioners here. I want to talk to you guys today about Thymosin Alpha-1, a powerful immune modulator that's being currently used to treat a variety of illnesses from cancer, tuberculosis, hepatitis, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, Lyme disease, and other acute or chronic inflammatory diseases. This medication can be delivered subcutaneously and it will help boost your immune system and increase the body's production of T cells. T cells come in two different forms, helper T cells and killer T cells. These killer T cells are the titans of our immune system. They go out and they find the cells or the bacteria or pathogen or funguses that are invading our bodies and causing us pain or inflammation and they do their best to eradicate them. Then we have our helper T cells. These cells work by orchestrating the appropriate immune response to the infection or the inflammation. Thymosin Alpha-1 will help eradicate the unhealthy cells in the body. It can also potentially stop the growth of tumor cells and cancer cells. It will exhibit antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties of invading pathogen. It can also increase the effectiveness of vaccinations that we take and protect against oxidative stress in the body from infection. This has the potential for great therapeutic benefits when it comes to treating infection, acute or chronic, or inflammatory conditions. So there you have it, folks. For optimal immune function therapies, such as the Thymosin Alpha-1 is the way to go. So if you're looking to increase your immune system, 
get over an infection or treat your chronic inflammatory conditions, give us a call. We'd love to help you out. We can be reached at 727-389-3220. I'd love to help you out. So once again, stay strong and stay healthy out there. Hey guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Type Medical Center. Today, we want to talk to you about a super antioxidant, the mother of antioxidants, glutathione. So glutathione is a super antioxidant. It's actually produced in your body. It's produced in the liver. The thing about glutathione is it depletes very rapidly. And this is because of free radicals, toxins in the environment, you getting sick, if you smoke, if you're around smokers, there's different things that can bring this down and deplete it out of the body. And what happens is, is glutathione is a super antioxidant, so it's great for a number of different things. As far as inflammation in the body, brain, skin, energy, and let's not forget the liver functions. It will be awesome if you have a fatty liver or you have ALT or AST liver enzymes that are very high. This is a great therapy for you. If you're getting sick, hangovers, anything like that, glutathione is definitely a go-to therapy. What do you think, Sharice? 100%. They actually use it for patients that have Lyme's disease, Crohn's disease. It helps with that chronic inflammation and the pain. So I know that there's a lot of different therapies out there that they try to give you as far as like prescription medications and things like that. But if you're looking for a more all-natural approach, that's definitely going to help you out a lot. And you can do glutathione in a couple different ways. So you can give yourself an injection with glutathione with a baby insulin needle in the privacy of your own home. And you can do this daily or every other day or however it's prescribed by the practitioner or medical provider. You can also get glutathione in an IV. So this is, both of these ways are faster transportation rates and higher absorbency. The oral version really doesn't work well. That's why it's always recommended by medical providers and practitioners to do it either IM, which is intermuscular, or by IV. You'll get a lot of different things and benefits out of glutathione, and like Sheree said, it's a more natural approach to help you and your body. So for recovery purposes too, athletic performance, glutathione is a definite must and a definitely important therapy for you guys. Now don't forget, all of you guys out there that travel for work, you guys might be teachers, maybe you're in the medical field and you're constantly coming in contact with people. Mm -hmm. And of course, people, Hot carry germs, so you have to make sure that you're protecting your body against that. Let's not also forget about stress. Yes. Stress breaks down the immune system. Yes. So someone like myself, under a lot of stress all the time, this is something that can definitely help you with that. You know, I always go back to the example that if you were going to go into war or battle, right, and you were gonna fight an enemy of some sort, wouldn't you give your best chance of defending yourself by bringing in the best possible armor mm -hmm. or weapon you could to fight this enemy? Well, that is where glutathione comes into play. Give your body the best defensive measures you possibly can for your immune system. Now, this helps with a lot of different things out there. People have Lyme disease, Crohn's disease, right? Mm -hmm. Chronically sick. Allergies, this is another big one. So glutathione is a widespread therapy. That a lot of autoimmune disease. deficiencies as well. Yes, autoimmune deficiencies, uh, that's another big huge. one. huge. And a lot of people have these autoimmune deficiencies. So if you guys are looking for a therapy to help defend your body, build your immune system, you know, and help you in these different areas that we talked about, then you guys can call or text 727-389-3220. Ask us about glutathione, the mother of all antioxidants. It's a super antioxidant. This goes right along with vitamin C, um, and alpha-lipoic acid, and all these other different ones. This is a superior one for that. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or you guys want glutathione as a therapy for yourself, just call or text 727-389-3220. Also check us out at www.tightmedicalcenter.com. What's up guys? John and Sharice here for another Cupid's Corner. Corona Isolation Edition, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously everybody's been affected around the United States with this big outbreak of the coronavirus, mm -hmm. right? 
Um, different states are instituting different things right now. Um, so at that point, some people are in isolation, some people are locked down to their homes, and some people are still free to roam about a little bit. So let's get into some different things because you might be spending a little bit more time with your partner than you previously have. Right? <laughs> that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Well, hopefully it's a good thing. And we're going to give you some good tips today to hopefully make it a good thing or even better. Mm -hmm. And this is really a time to reignite things or really to get back to knowing your partner and maybe spending some quality time together. Right? I agree. Okay. So let's get into some different things that you guys can do. First off, make sure your partner is staying healthy. Make sure you guys are washing your hands. Make sure you guys are taking your vitamins. As you can see, me and Sharice are doing IVs. So we're doing IV therapy that have an abundance of different things, of super antioxidants, vitamins, um, different things that hopefully help us stay healthy to build our immune system. So we're actually doing this together. Um, at that point, you guys can have some free time together. So that could be bedroom time. Mm -hmm. um, if you have some kids, you guys can have them downstairs because the internet's still working. Kids are still playing video games or on their iPad and stuff like that. So you guys can do that. If you guys don't have kids, it's even better, <laughs> right? Why don't you guys have some pleasure in maybe a space that you guys have never had? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you guys are a bedroom couple, usually all the time, uh, maybe the couch, maybe the basement, <laughs> You know, it just all depends what you guys Washer, are doing. Washer, dryer, you know. Washer, dryer. Keep things, uh, you know, keep things fresh, right? So it might be exciting for you guys, and there might be something you guys might have not tried before. This might be the time. Don't get too crazy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, or find out information about your partner that maybe you have not got to ask them. Do you know your partner's favorite color, their favorite flowers, their favorite outfit? I mean, this is the really time to really get to know your partner inside and out. And if you guys haven't had a lot of time together because everybody's been working and all this stuff, you guys have different schedules. I mean, now your schedule is probably going to be on the same schedule. <laughs> so, you know, and do your best. You know, a lot of people, you know, they don't want to get cabin fever. Don't get cabin fever. Do stuff with your partner. You guys can exercise inside. That's something. So if you guys, everybody has a backyard too, right? right? I mean, some people do. Most people do. You go outside in the backyard, and I mean, us Floridians here, yeah. you know, we have the sun outside. So why wouldn't you just take two chairs, go sit out in the grass? I've actually thought about that. Yeah. Um, sit out in the grass. Nobody else is back there except for us, so yeah. we're not around other people, so we can abide by the social distancing. Right. Um, and just go out there and get a tan and relax and hang out, talk. Yeah. You can even lay out a picnic. How uh, many? Uh, Listen. That's good. Everybody likes picnics. That's really cool. Okay, so you could pack up some sandwiches. I know it's like right inside your house, but you can literally lay out a blanket, pack up some sandwiches, do some drinks, wine, whatever, and then just lay out there and talk and catch up and just spend some quality time together. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, reignite, you know, come together again. If you guys are already a strong couple anyway, this should be some nice quality time that you guys can spend together. Nobody's going to interrupt you. You ain't got to be nowhere. There's no events going on. Sure, 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 There's sure, sure, no sure. for guys, you know, like, you know, we watch the basketball game or football game or baseball game. <laughs> well, there is no football, basketball or baseball right now to watch. So at that point, there is no sports center hardly. I know like here in Tampa, Brady's coming here supposedly. So that was a big talk of the town last night here in Tampa Bay. But other than that, you can't do anything. You can't watch any games. You can't be like, honey, I want to watch the game tonight. Um, so at that point, you guys will have some more quality time. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys can find a series on Netflix, you know, Netflix and chill together, watch some TV. You know, we said last Cupid's Corner, the TV in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. This would be a time to have the TV in the bedroom. Moving in the bedroom. Right? Yes. Right? Uh, you know, so <laughs> at that point, like I said, you guys can exercise together. If you guys have not been exercising or want to get an exercise plan or a diet plan, this probably will be your time. Yeah. Um, you know, if hopefully you guys have groceries and all your supplies and everything's good there. Um, that's really what it's all about. This will be about quality time and spending it together. Hopefully we won't have a long time indoors, you know, like 60 days or 90 days, hopefully not. Hopefully it's eight weeks at tops um, and we're out and about and we're living our regular lives again. But during this time, make good of it educate yourselves you guys can read online so you guys can read together and there's a lot of different things even if you guys play video games you guys guess you guys can play video games together mm -hmm. you know find out what your partner really likes to do this is really a good time to do it 
So, I mean, that's our tip, I guess. Well, it's not even just what your partner likes to do. There might be something that you do that your partner didn't know that they liked to do until they did it. Another thing you guys can do just while we're on the topic is cook a nice dinner. See, me on the other hand, see, I don't get to cook very often. I think the only time I get to cook, if I do cook, <laughs> is gonna be Sundays. And Sunday, I'll cook a dinner, we'll all sit down, we'll have a great dinner, and you know, I don't like the TV on or anything like that. But, this is the extra time that you get, you know? So just yeah. make a nice dinner for each other. The guy can do it, the girl can do it. It doesn't matter Absolutely. girl or guy. Make dinner together. Together would be good. That would be cool, right? Absolutely. So Absolutely. I mean, there's so many different things you guys can do inside you know while this whole thing passes over yeah so i mean don't look at it as a negative thing i know you know a lot of people out there could be struggling might have lost their jobs um work or, or something like that is going wrong you guys are just negative on a negative tip listen we're gonna get over this everybody's got to work together to get over this but in the meantime at least have a good time with your partner you know learn more about your partner make it a, you know, a great experience instead of a negative experience anything that's came negative in our lives we've always tried to turn into a positive mm -hmm. and you know I mean sometimes it's really hard to do you know because you think about it and just dwell you dwell you dwell don't listen to all the media and all the hype if you need to turn off that portion of the mm -hmm. TV turn on a movie turn on a funny movie get some laughs you know um, stress can bring down and break down the immune system so mm -hmm. all this thinking and paranoia could actually hurt your health you know, if you guys are laughing, they say, you know, that's actually something that could actually can help. Burn you. calories like that. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that that's a good one. So, you know, just make sure it's a positive experience. And make sure you guys are getting everything out of each other at this point in time and you guys are spending quality time together. Whether it's in the bedroom or outside, pick pick was a good one. So, you know, I know, you know, Sharice likes to do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You guys might like to do stuff like that. Your wife or a girlfriend or partner may have wanted something that you couldn't do because you didn't have the time, well now you have the time. Well I mean especially too guys, remember we're always super busy checking emails on the phone and on social media and keeping up with the news and all that other stuff. Just put the phone down for a second. I mean what are you racing to? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing to race to. There's nothing that's going to change your craziness, especially if you're already isolated in your home and stuff like that. You guys know you ain't going nowhere. There's no bars, uh, <laughs> restaurants here in Florida are 50% occupancy. Oh, in some states, they're closed down completely unless it's mm -hmm. dine in or take out, which is a good thing too, because listen, you guys can get the food or get it delivered and have that nice dinner together, or you guys can cook for yourselves like Cherise said. Um, you know, there's no nightclubs open here in Florida. Uh, bars are shut down. So at that point, there's nowhere else to, nowhere else to let's, go. Let's hit the rewind button because it's always fun to hit the rewind button. Sure. <laughs> Rewinds. So listen, a couple things and I'll share this with you. So when me and John back, I want to say about, I want to say it's about 10 years ago. Okay. So there was places that closed at three o'clock in the morning because nobody stays open until after, you know, 3 a.m. Except for I think the casino, Hard Rock Casino yeah. used to stay open that late. Nobody wanted to drive that far anyway. So we used to go back to the house and he had this amazing Ooh. DJ setup. Okay, he had two big speakers. He had the, the turntables and the whole nine. So this is where you get fancy, right? Yeah. And you turn on the speakers, blast it. I mean, no one's gonna tell you not to. Yeah. And you play some good music and just chill. I mean, these are cool things that we did that we could share with you guys because Absolutely. I'm not saying if you have a DJ, you know, equipment piece down in your yeah. garage and you just jam out in the garage and have a couple beers or whatever it is. Turn on the radio. <laughs> Turn on the radio. Dance jam together. Out. Yeah, yeah, dance together. Bring each other, you know, some excitement and, and bring some, you know, some happiness to each other. You know, and, and don't get negative on each other. That's the best thing we could possibly say to you guys. Be positive. Don't you badger like. your partner at yeah. the house because don't you guys are them. together. Yeah. You know, this can also be a time for spring cleaning. Ooh. I mean, what about if you have a closet you need to clean out or you got all this, maybe these shoes you need to organize or something. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, it could be anything, guys. I'm sure that there's a hundred million things to think of. I mean, even yeah. old school stuff like board games and yeah. cards. Cards are good. Cards are What's good. The last time you pull out a pack of cards and play a good card game. You know? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I love Go Fish. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of different things you guys can do. Listen, you know, it's been a hard thing for a lot of people out there to get their heads wrapped around what's going on out mm -hmm. there. We'll get through it. You guys will get through it. Make sure you guys are building that extra special bond with your partner or significant other. 
and you know just show each other a lot of love and a lot of happiness okay so I think that really covers most of the things that you guys can do during this corona crisis as far as uh, enhancing your relationship. Mm -hmm. You guys have to make sure that you guys are getting your vitamins and you guys are taking antioxidants or eating antioxidants, foods, all that. If you guys need help, we can always help you. All you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. If you guys are looking for libido enhancers at this time, Why we not? can help you out. So you guys will be inside, so you guys can do it all. So we have female libido enhancers and male libido enhancers, and you guys can see our medical practitioners from the comfort of your own home, on your computer, on your phone, on your tablet, and we can get it sent directly from the pharmacy to your doorstep. Never even left your house. So you won't have to go outside, or if you're isolated or locked down, this is essential coming as far as a delivery to your doorstep. You guys will be set, and you guys can do that extra performance. Yep, Superman. Maybe it's role playing. You know, who knows? Role get crafty, guys. <laughs> you know, you know, get excited. Yeah. Use your head. Think outside the box and have fun. That's the main thing. I'll put on my Wonder Woman outfit tonight for John. Yeah, so I'm getting excited about that already, guys. <laughs> so listen, tune in. I appreciate you tuning in today, 11 a.m. ABC every Sunday. We're gonna be coming at you guys. So we'll be with you through this crisis. We're all going to stick together and get through it. We love you guys, and thanks for tuning in. Thanks, guys.